How did Elizabeth Taylor ensure her final farewell was just as spectacular? Two more marriages followed her divorce from Richard Burton, first to Senator John Warner in 1976, and then to construction worker Larry Fortensky in 1991, bringing her total to eight marriages with seven husbands. When AIDS claimed her friend Rock Hudson in 1985, she turned her pain into purpose and co-founded AMFAR and ETAF. Elizabeth Taylor continued to captivate audiences with her acting, earning an Emmy nomination in 1983 for her performance in Between Friends. Her White Diamonds perfume line, launched in 1991, became a global success. As her extraordinary journey neared its end, Taylor orchestrated her own funeral, arranging for herself to be fashionably late by 15 minutes. The New York Times published an obituary written by Mel Gusso. Mel had died six years earlier, but Taylor had arranged for him to write it before his death. On March 23, 2011, at 79, Elizabeth Taylor died, leaving a legacy that transcends her complex life and legendary career.